Hey guys, we are back with another video, this time on the subject of injury. I've been injured a fair few times since I started to learn to skateboard. However, my latest injury was sustained during a bizarre kite surfing accident. I came off the lip, my front foot was still on the board, but my back foot was not. So I did a sort of John Cleese silly walk. Ooh, I felt my hamstring go straight away. Anybody who's done their hamstring will know exactly what I mean. So it was into the beach and my mind flicked straight over into rehab mode. It was a fair walk back to the van. So I took the weight off my leg by having a bit of a lie down in a rock pool. And this allowed me to reflect on what had just happened. As soon as I got home, I implemented the classic rice method, which is rest, ice, compression and elevation. And I did a bit of research on the best way to rehab from a hamstring injury. I decided to go with a four stage rehab program. Stage one was to rest and protect the injury. Stage two was to regain the range of motion and the flexibility. Stage three was to build in the strength and the power. And stage four was to regain the operation. I also made sure I maintained a healthy diet and drank loads of water. So for stage one, I did 72 hours of wearing a tubular compression bandage. I also did some regular icing and generally didn't go crazy. After this 72 hour phase, the bruise started to really come out and that said to me I definitely had torn my hamstring. Into phase two with some mellow light yoga, just stretching everything out, just trying to keep the range of mobility and trying to get that to come back to me. Stage three, I did some specific exercises. I found the pelvic thruster helped quite a lot and also just some general exercises trying to get that muscle not to wither. The real balancing act is trying to maintain the muscle mass and trying to keep the strength up whilst not doing any more damage. And I find I'm my worst enemy here. I just want to get back on the board and get going. I find it psychologically tough not to skateboard because it's the thing I most love to do. I find skateboarding is a one-stop shop for maintaining my physical and mental well-being. However, I do find it helpful to do some low-risk skateboarding activities, even just standing on the board in the lounge, testing out that front leg, seeing if I can do the old tic-tac or pivot, also going for a little bit of a mellow surf skate, basically doing some skateboarding themed activities that don't run the risk of having to vigorously use that front leg. Now I've hurt both my legs, both my knees, both my ankles, and I have to say that damaging the back leg seems to be the better option for me. Unfortunately, this time it's the front leg that I damaged. I find that one takes the brunt of dropping in. It also seems to take a lot of the weight from carving and general riding along. I did tinker with the idea of doing some switch riding. Obviously that would put the weight back on my good leg. However, it's fair to say there's a good chance that I'd come a cropper and be back at square one. So at the two week mark, the leg started to feel pretty good. I continued my flexibility and also my strength exercises and I tested it out with a few squats and a few sort of skateboarding style lunges forward, a little bit of running out. And I figured it was a good time to start going into phase four, which was to get the operation back. For this first session, I decided to go to my local mellow mini ramp and I set the simple goal of by the end of the session being able to drop in, do a rock to fakie and do a tail stall and maybe to gild the lily just pop in the odd axle stall. I got to the ramp all excited. After two weeks of minimal skateboarding action I was chomping at the bit and of course it rained. I wasn't taking no for an answer though, it was out with a squeegee to see if I could achieve my goal of 20 minutes of rock to fakie and tail stall and maybe the axle stall.
Overall, I was pretty pleased with how the leg performed. I limited myself to tricks that I feel really comfortable with, and the idea here was to try and avoid any crazy runouts or crashes. I did come off a few and have to do a little bit of a hobble out, but the leg managed to stand up to it. The hardest thing was committing to the first trick because it's that fear of the unknown again. I didn't know how the leg would perform coming back in on a rock to fakey. I also didn't know how it would deal with axling back into the ramp. Both of those are quite heavy on that front leg. But after I got a few under my belt, I could get into the session and try and regain a bit of control and finesse. Of course, me being me, I decided to go one stage further and try for a fakie frontside axle stall. And oh, oh my gosh, that is not the trick to be trying when you've hurt your hamstring, it turns out. Moving forward, I plan to keep up the rehab program on the leg, keep on doing the yoga and the strength exercises, and also keep on upgrading the skateboarding sessions, perhaps add one or two tricks into the mini ramp run each session or go for a little bit of bowl and pumping. The end goal is to get back on the vert ramp as soon as possible. However, I've got to be patient. I reckon the vert ramp is the highest impact of the lot and there's the highest chance of re-injuring and re-tearing that hamstring. The drop-in alone, whew, there's a fair bit of pressure going through that front leg. I wouldn't want that bad boy to come unstuck. Well, that's it for this video. If you want to share any of your rehab tips, stick them in the comments below. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to hit subscribe. I make new videos every week. As ever, my name's been John Bishop, and I'm a middle-aged guy learning how to take it easy.